crack a cold one. How's it going, everybody? It's Flint from Flint and Still Survival bringing you an unboxing video today from none other than Josh at Frog Tax Here Sanctuary. I was watching his video on his kits he makes. He had a red and black fire kit and a green and black, green and yellow. Pretty sure it was green and yellow. Don't quote me on that, guys. Um, Plain survival kit. And I love fire kits, so. I immediately hit him up. I'm like, dude, I want one. Uh, what are you looking for trade? Because he said trades are accepted. And he's a neck knife guy. I am not a neck knife guy. I've had a few of them. I've tried to use them, tried to like them. They're just not my cup of tea. I don't know why. I don't like weight around my neck. So even necklaces sometimes bother me. So um, today I will be opening this package with my Italian pole automatic, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. You pull it, goes out, push it, comes in. It's a different knife. Uh, red, like this um, kit should be. And I figured Josh would like a more unique knife open in his package than just any old run-of-the-mill knife. And here at Flint and Steel Survival, we don't discriminate weird knives. So let's see if I can get into this. You know, for the $8 I paid for this knife, that was a pretty sharp blade. Ooh, I was real close. And he said he was going to throw in some extras because I had to wait for it, but I promise you the wait was not bad. And it looks already like I got a bunch of stuff in here. Wow, first off, that is awesome. Red and yellow paracord bracelet. I threw a uh, pink zipper pull on the ground. Let's see what else I got. Tan keychain. Ah, uh, yellow keychain. Me and you, Josh. We can be twins. Have some yellow stuff. Two yellow keychains. Oh, they're actually different colors. This one is the yellow that's in the bracelet. Or this one is neon yellow. How did I know that he would have multiple colors of yellow? A couple more zipper pulls. Some tan zipper pulls. So I got yellow, a pink, two tans. Oh, another yellow, but that's the off color yellow. Here is the kit. I am super stoked to get into that. Looks like I got a note, another yellow zipper pull, and some filler material. And I will actually use those bags. Let's see. Put this in the background. Whoa. My Superman sign almost took a tumble. Alright. Let's read this note first. Flint. Thanks, brother, for the trade. The snarl is awesome, Josh. Peace. I actually love your stationery, dude. That's dope. I like it. And it was my pleasure to send that to you. I wasn't getting any use out of it anymore, so I'm so glad that somebody is. Somewhere out there beneath the pale blue sky, right? Man, this box is not going to stand up for me, is it? Maybe. I give up. Maybe. Okay, there we go. As long as it doesn't light on fire from the heat of this lamp. Let's get into the kit. First off, on the outside, you immediately notice a compass. And that's a ferro rod. So that is awesome. Open up the sides of this kit here. Don't want to throw everything all around look like a fool. So it looks like we got a ranger band here holding on. And this is probably the most exciting part of this kit for me. This is so cool. I don't know if you guys even understand. So, I got a pink lighter. Pink's not my favorite color, but I will rock it. Black Kydex um, lighter holder. And this looks like it would be good for a neck carry. I mean, you could put, you know, paracord through there, carry it through your, or on your neck. This, oh man, I love that. That's got some serious tension to it. This is a ferro rod with a uh, shock cord and a Kydex top. Looks like they glue it in there. 
I want to say these are from Gear Nut. I don't want to be wrong, so I really hope I'm right there. Don't want to say the wrong person's name, but I think this is a Gear Nut made one. Man, that is cool. Tell you what, I'm going to start rocking this in my pocket, no question. Probably give my Zippo a rest. And then here's the fire kit. Looks like we've got some cotton balls, some fat wood, and these appear to be cotton balls soaked in wax. You're going to have to hit me up on what that is, sir. I don't want to be wrong. But it definitely looks like cotton. And it's squishy, so I'm pretty sure it's wax. But like I said, I don't want to be giving the good folks of YouTube some bad information. And then a whole bunch of fat wood. So this is an intense fire kit, man. I love it. Plus, I don't know if you guys have ever had one of these in your hand. I hadn't until right now. But I'm telling you what, man, this is freaking sturdy. I didn't expect that for some reason. You know, I expected it to kind of lose form if it didn't have Altoids tin in it, but look at that. I mean, I guess you can expect that if you've seen these bands. It's not like they just fold and flop all over the place. But, man, this kit is amazing. If you don't have one of these yet, go out, hit Josh up, and, uh, you know, beg and plead for him to make you one, because this is sick. Absolutely love that. Man. Tell you what, I am sold. I will be watching your store close, man. You make some killer products. Tell you what, even these freaking zipper pulls, you can just tell they're going to last forever. Man, you really hooked me up with some extras, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Everybody, go hit up Frog Tech's Gear Sanctuary. I will link the video to these kits in the description as well as a straight link to his channel. If you're not sub, there's definitely something wrong with you. Go over and hit the uh, sub button. And I'm not asking, I'm telling you at this point, just go do it. So, thanks everybody for watching.